Are you petite like me? Or maybe you just want to look taller and slimmer in your clothes. If so, keep watching. Hello everyone, it's me, Serena. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm so glad to have you. Today, I have five tips that are going to help you dress better as a fellow petite person. And I also have a bonus tip at the end. So be sure you stick around for that. And yes, my backdrop may look a little different. My filming room recently got a glow up and I'm so excited to have all this storage, all this space in here. I used to just have a cheap bookshelf with shoes and some metal clothing racks from Amazon and they served their purpose. But now I have a proper closet display filming area that is worthy of being on camera. So you guys helped make that happen. So thank you very much. So if you're a petite like me, I'm 5'2", you know the struggle is real <laughs> with finding clothes that fit us and flatter us without having to spend a fortune on alterations, tailoring, things like that. And while that can sometimes be unavoidable, I do have some tips on how you can appear taller and thinner. And when I say thinner, I'm not assuming that everyone is trying to look thinner, but when you're as petite as we are, every pound matters. <laughs> five pounds on someone my height is much more noticeable than five pounds on a woman who maybe is 5'8". And by looking slimmer, you can appear taller. So it's all about tricking the eye and things you can do to appear both taller and slimmer and just get your clothes to fit better. The first tip I have for my fellow petites out there is know your measurements. You know, petite is not a body type, it's a height, but you can have an apple-shaped petite, pear-shaped, inverted triangle, all the different body shapes that are out there for us women, you can have those with petite stacked on top of it. So it's important to know your measurements and know your body type because all those body type rules still apply to you even though you're petite. And I think the most crucial measurement to know when you're petite is your inseam. And that is the measurement from your crotch down to either your ankle bone, or if you wanna know the full one, all the way to the floor. That is crucial. Because as you may have heard me mention here on my channel before, I'm 5'2", but I'm very short-waisted and have longer legs. So petite jeans and pants, are 90% of the time, they're too short for me. They just hit at a spot that looks like not capris or not quite long, they're just an awkward spot. So I do better with full length pants and jeans. Sometimes they need a little hem or cut, sometimes they don't. But that's why it's so important to know your inseam. So if you are someone who when you try petite pants, they just feel too short for you. If you try on a regular size jacket or blouse or sweater, the sleeves are too long and the waist doesn't hit you at your waist, it hits below, then you know that you are built like me. You have a short torso and longer legs. I often have to get petites in jackets like this one from Loft. This is a size six petite. It fits me perfectly. But my jeans are regular length. These are not petite jeans. So it does take some trial and error, but you have to know your measurements to know what's gonna fit you best. Tip number two, shop stores that carry petites. <laughs> now I know that sounds kind of like a no brainer, but it's getting harder and harder to do. And oftentimes when you find petite sections in a department store, the selection, well, number one, it's extremely limited. And number two, it's just very matronly and not stylish at all. So there are several stores that I'm going to list down in the description box that I shop at frequently that carry petites. And I know a lot of you are gonna say, but I need to try things on. 
Well, that's where knowing your measurements comes in and is so important. If you know your measurements, these size guides online are pretty good. So if you know your inseam and you can look at the inseam length on the pants or jeans that you're ordering, you're gonna know if they are going to fit you or not. And one thing that I like to recommend to people is pick your favorite pair of pants. That pair of pants in your closet that fits you perfectly, the length is perfect, neither too long nor too short, and get out your tape measure and measure the inseam of those pants to see what it is. And then you can compare that to the inseam lengths that are listed for the different height of pants. You know, Gap, Banana Republic Factory, J. Crew, and all these brands have inseams listed for their products. Sometimes you do have to poke around and dig, but usually it's under product details. And they will tell you, you know, what the inseam is for regular length, petite length, and tall. And if you know what your inseam is, and you can look on there and you're gonna know, oh, I need the petite in this pair, or no, I need to get a regular in this pair. And yes, unfortunately, sometimes you fall in between. And that happens to me a lot too. And when it does, I opt for the longer. Cause you can always cut some off or hem some, or they might shrink in the wash, but you can't add any more fabric to the bottom. So that is one tip. Shop online retailers that carry petites and know your inseam measurements. To see more content, more outfit ideas, more everything from me, be sure you're following me on Instagram and Facebook. I post daily over there, either a reel, uh, outfit ideas, tips, tricks, all kinds of stuff that you may not ever see here on YouTube. And don't forget about the free Like to Know It app. I post on there daily, and right now, I have got a couple of holiday time collections on there, and one has all my holiday outfits all in one place, and the other has my gift guides all in one place. And they're so easy to shop. You just scroll down through, pick one that you want to see, tap on it, and then if you wanna save it for later, you can tap on the heart, favorite it, save it for later, or you can shop right then just by scrolling down and tapping on the item underneath the picture that you're interested in. That will take you directly to that retailer's website, straight to the product. It doesn't cost you anything extra but it really does help me and my channel. And this is how I support myself these days. So I appreciate you guys so much. I appreciate you watching. And I really appreciate it when you use my links to make your purchases. It helps me out tremendously. My next tip is avoid oversized and bulky clothing. I know with this oversized trend <laughs> that's been so big recently, that has been a little difficult, especially with these oversized blazers and jackets. And while they may look great on the models, when you're petite, like we are, they just end up looking like you're dressing up in your dad's business suit or something. So even though it's the trend, that's a trend that we can pass on. We're gonna look better in something with a classic fit like this blazer. This is from, this one is from Amazon, and I love the classic detailing on this, and it has a really nice shape, and this is something that's never gonna go out of style. It's a classic. And I know we're going into winter now, and so it's hard. I know not to dress in bulky, thick, warm things, especially if you live somewhere where it's super cold. And I'm not talking about your coats. If you live in Minnesota or Michigan or a place that gets super cold, you're gonna wear your big, thick, puffy coat, and I get it, I would too. I'm talking more about your clothes underneath. And the reason you want to avoid things being too bulky again, is because of our height. Because bulky things, thick, fluffy sweaters and sweatshirts and things, they are warm and cozy, but the bulk adds width. And if you add width, then you shorten 
your appearance vertically. So what you wanna do is choose fabrics that are very warm without being overly bulky. Think wool for your sweaters. Think cashmere. If you're like me and you can't tolerate wool, <laughs> but you can wear cashmere, wear cashmere. Like this gorgeous funnel neck cashmere sweater that I picked up recently. This is so lightweight and so warm. You wouldn't believe how warm this sweater is. And yes, it is thick and it's kind of a tunic length, but it's not bulky. It's not big, oversized, puffy, and bulky. It just skims my body. But even so, I'm wearing it with some pants that are more slim fit. Now this sweater is a splurge. I'll go ahead and tell you, it's by Vince and it's not cheap at all, but it's a classic and something that I can have for years. The pants are from Chico's and they are their travel pants. They are a pull-on style. They're a nice thick ponty knit fabric, very stretchy, super comfortable. And by wearing these items together, you're keeping yourself warm and cozy without added bulk. But the pants are slim and then add some slim fitting sock booties to this look and you have a very long, lean, streamlined look that's going to keep you warm too. If you're enjoying this video and would like to see more like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button if you're new. I know there's a lot of you watching that aren't subscribed, so what are you waiting for? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to click the bell so you'll be notified every time I post new content. My next tip on how to look taller and leaner as a petite is avoid the rounded, the really rounded toe shoes and boots, especially those that have a thick, chunky sole. Now these have been very popular for a while now. I think they're starting to kind of go out, but they're still around. And if you're wearing a Chelsea boot or something, maybe with some leggings with a, a long tunic sweater or sweatshirt, something like that, then these can be okay. But in a look like this one with jeans and this navy sweater from Banana Republic Factory, all you see are the shoes because the shoes are just too clunky and heavy and pull the eye down. And it just kind of cuts me off there at the bottom and making me look kind of stumpy. So what you wanna do instead is opt for a boot or booty or shoe that has a more streamlined look and preferably a pointed toe. Now it doesn't have to be super pointy. It doesn't have to scrunch your toes because all the pointed toe shoes that are in my closet now, they do not pinch my toes. I don't know if they're making them better now <laughs> or what, but I don't have that scrunched toe effect that I used to get. And if you need to, you can always size up a half. I do that often in boots, especially. That way I know I can add a nice thick sock in the wintertime and my feet and my ankles are gonna stay warm while I'm still wearing some stylish booties. Like these Western style booties. These are from Walmart. You've seen them all season long here on my channel, but that's because they're a favorite of mine. They have a rubbery heel that's about two inches. So easy to walk in and comfortable. And you can see just by changing nothing but to the shoes, what a difference in look A and look B. I look so much leaner, taller, slimmer with the second pair of boots than I do with the first. So avoid those chunky round toe shoes. My next tip is, this is not just for petites, this is for anybody. If you want to look taller and slimmer, dress in a monochromatic outfit. Now that doesn't mean that everything has to be the same color top to bottom, although it can be. That just means wear items in the same color family. 
Here I'm wearing this navy blue sweater from Banana Republic Factory. I love these forever sweaters so much. I have like four or five of them at this point. And I'm wearing some kind of medium wash jeans. These are my straight leg jeans from Mother. And these are not the same color, but they're in the same color family. And what that does is it visually lengthens you. You don't have any harsh breaks or cutoffs in your appearance like you would if you were wearing, you know, a black top and white pants or something like that. And it doesn't have to be dark colors. You can look just as slim if you're wearing shades of white, like I am here. Shades in the same family are gonna lengthen your appearance and make you seem taller and slimmer than you are. And now I mentioned a bonus tip at the beginning of the video, and here is the bonus tip match your shoes to your pants. Yes, that sounds simple, but it really makes a big difference. I mean, look here in this outfit, I'm wearing a brown sweater and some tan faux leather pants from Banana Republic Factory. And I'm wearing some boots that match back to the color in the sweater. That's called sandwich dressing. And I do it a lot. A lot of people do, and it is a nice way to coordinate. But just by simply changing my boots from those brown ones to a pair that are black, look how much taller my legs look. Look how much longer my legs look, which makes me appear taller. It's just about having that continuous line, unbroken, that stretches you and gives you that length that you may not have. This topic is one that is near and dear to my heart, and I may make this a series here on my channel. Let me know if you would like that, and maybe I can do a post on petite styling tips and tricks once a month or something like that, because, you know, I have lived almost 54 years <laughs> being petite, and I have learned some things along the way, and I've made a lot of mistakes along the way that I'm trying to correct now. So let me know if you would like more videos like this one. Everything seen in today's video will be linked down in the description box as always. And to find that description box, go underneath the video, either tap on the video title or tap where it says more at the end of the video title. That will open up that description box and that's where all the good stuff is. My sizing, my stats, height, weight, all that good stuff. Sizes I'm wearing and everything. And links and discount codes, if I have any, to all the products that I'm showing in today's video. Thank you all for joining me today. I appreciate you. And until I see you in my next video, have a stylish day. Bye.